All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to invite Rhythm Music Bot to your server, how to get it playing music, how to set up a DJ role so that you can designate people who are in charge of the music bot so that they can do some of the more advanced controls that normally require either the server admin or the server owner to control, and some of the more advanced stuff and how to, you know, get all that stuff going. So in case you're new to this whole thing, RhythmBot is a music bot that you can pop in a URL from YouTube or SoundCloud. I think they also do Spotify, and it allows you to just have it play the music into your voice chat so that you can enjoy some, some cool jams with all of your friends at the same time as if you're listening to the radio. That's all, sort of the gist. The first thing you got to do is pop into rhythm.fm. That's the bots website. And from here, you can look at all the features that it has and kind of peruse around and see if you want this specific bot, because there's a lot of music bots out there. And when you're ready, you hit this big blue button that says invite the bot. And you're going to invite this bot to your server like you're inviting another person. And so the first thing that'll happen is it'll pop up a window. It might ask you to log in. It's all right. It's not trying to steal your stuff. You're just logging into the Discord system that this integrates with, and then you can select what server you want to put it on. I got a test server that I'm going to use, and then when you're ready, you click continue. If you don't see your server, and you know you have the ability to invite bots to it because you're an admin or you're a server owner, but it's still not working correctly, you might need to switch browsers, clear your cache and your cookies and everything, and then try it again. So I'm going to click continue, and then it's going to ask me, if I'm okay with this bot having all of these permissions. This is, an, this is a, uh, a verified bot with Discord, so the likelihood that they're gonna do something malicious to your web, to your server, is very low. So these really aren't any concern to give them all of these permissions. I will note that if you want to limit Rhythm to only looking at and paying attention to one channel for people typing in commands to control it, you can't give it administrator, but if you're not worried about that, let it have administrator. It's not really a big deal. So I'm going to click authorize and I'm going to verify that I'm not a robot and it should automatically invite it to my server. And now it shows me the back panel. I'll show you what this does in a second, but what we're interested in is the commands over here. And then I'm going to pop open the server. So here it is. It's invited to the server. You can see it in the sidebar. I oftentimes like to create a role or a rank on my server called bots that I can give to all of the bots so that they're kind of like blocked off in the sidebar. Kind of like over here, I've literally got a bunch of bots on my main server and they're all orange and you can see all the bots that are currently running. Um, so that's just something I recommend, but it's not required. They usually already have the permissions that they need. Uh, but the thing it's telling you here is you can use the help command. That's really nice for a lot of bots. If we type exclamation mark help, and you need to put an exclamation mark at the front of all of the commands for rhythm. Otherwise, it won't do anything. And that will give you a link to this list of commands that I have over here in case you need them or you forgot. So what it wants me to do is it wants me to put in some music. So hop into a voice channel so that it'll actually pop in there with you. It requires you to actually be in a voice channel. I'm going to click exclamation mark play, pop in a URL to a, a random free song on YouTube, and it'll automatically start playing. That's all you got to do. It's on there. It's running. For 90% of people, this is probably where you can leave this tutorial. The other things to note is you can pause it by hitting exclamation mark pause. You can hit exclamation mark stop, I think. Okay, so it's already paused, so that do, that's just a duplicate command. You can resume it by hitting play, or if you don't want the bot in there with you anymore, you can hit disconnect. And for most people, that's probably all you need. But if you have a larger server, and you need the ability to give other people that aren't admins the ability to control the bot, it actually has the ability to have a DJ role. So a DJ is exactly what it sounds like. It's a music playing control role. It's like having an admin for your music bot. And literally all you have to do is go into your server settings, go under roles, and then down here, create a new role and just call this DJ. 
Give it whatever color you want. Create the role. And then all it needs to be is called DJ, and then that will allow them to have control over the bot. Then you can just go back over here, click on any member, click on their profile, click the little plus, give them the DJ role, and boom, they have the ability to control the bot. Now, it's worth mentioning that most people have the ability to add songs to the music queue. That you don't need to be a DJ for. What you need to be a DJ for is being able to skip songs, rewind the songs, repeat them, all of those things. Some of those controls are limited to admins, server owners, and DJs, just so that people can't randomly log into a really busy server and troll the music player. Otherwise, if there's a bunch of people in the channel together and there's no admin, no DJ, and no server owner, they'll have to vote skip in order to get rid of the current song if no one actually wants to listen to it. Otherwise, if you're a DJ, you can force skip right here. And you can see which ones of these controls require you to be a DJ because they literally say, note, a DJ role or whatever needs is required in order to use that particular command. Another thing that this allows you to do is if I play a song, I have the ability to control that from the back panel. So right now, there's nothing queued up inside of this rhythm instance. It's just playing one bot, or it's playing one song in this channel, and it tells me which members on the server are set up to be DJs over here. And then if people want to vote to skip, you can click this button over here. And down here at the bottom, you'll see that there's actually a control for the bot that allows you to pause it, play it, repeat it, shuffle the music, and for skip and play from the beginning. So it's actually kind of nice if you want to log in and control the bot and you have that ability, you can log into here, find the server in the list of servers that it'll prompt you for if you've got multiple servers and then you can actually control it without having to type in any commands. So you've got multiple options. It's actually kind of nice. The other thing that you can do is if you want to change some of the settings for the bot, they let you do that. You can change the prefix. So instead of using an exclamation mark, you can use like a dash or whatever. You can change all of these different settings. You can even change what role is used as the DJ role. So I've already got a music control role set up right here as you can see so i can go exclamation mark settings dj role music control hit enter and then now it'll use both dj and music control to denote people who have the ability to control the bot so this is a very powerful bot it's got the ability to start stop pause skip shuffle repeat, loop, all of those different things available here that you can see on this list. It's very full featured. And then if you really want, there's a few other features that you can get down in the premium section, like effects, volume control, and all of that. So if we pop back over here to the main website, I'll show you guys what you can get if you wanna pay for premium, because it does have some features that people have asked for in the comment section below to see if it actually does it or not. So, Here's some of what they can do. You can get volume controls, audio effects, extra bots. So you can have a bot in multiple channels. You can have longer songs. So let's say you want to like play like a 10 hour long song because that's just what you're into. You can do that if you pay for it. Otherwise, I think they limit you to like under an hour. Um, autoplay, dashboard badge, better quality audio. Um, you can have it play 24 hours a day if you want it to have like an automatic radio always there waiting for you in certain channels. All that stuff is available here and you can see like here's the price plans. It goes from $5 to $10 a month depending on how much stuff you want. And yeah, if you want it, that's how it's supported. But most of the stuff, most of the features of Gr RhythmBot are available for the low, low price of free. So if you're interested, Links in the video description. This is the basics of how to use it and how to set it up, how to set up a DJ role, all that stuff. 
And that should be 90% of what you need to get this rolling on your server and enjoy. Otherwise, I mean, I'll also put a link to the commands in the video description as well underneath of the main link to the site. So you can always grab those. And uh, happy music playing. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.